Hey everybody, Spoonvet here, and we're uh, doing the realistic mission two, uh, which is about the Nazi party. So uh, I've been informed that you have quite admirable hacking skills. Oh, thank you very much. Well, this racist hate group is using their website to organize a mass gathering of ignorant racist bastards. We cannot allow such bigoted aggression to happen. If you gain access to their administrator page and post messages to their main page, we will be internally grateful. Well, now. Let us see what we've got. Oh yeah, we've got the Join the American Nazi Power. Okay, goddamn. Stupid morons. Alright, well, normally uh, you could brute force their admin page or, uh, you know, by having like admin behind it or uh, login uh, .php. Let's, yeah, let's just do one. Normally you would... Uh, you would not use a... Uh, <laughs> you won't do it yourself, but you would use a uh, it is not applicable. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna view the source, and basically what we're gonna look for is any link. So we're gonna highlight all, and we're gonna look at them. We're gonna look at all the links. So we've got one link that's to the Wigger GIF from the American Nazi Party. We've got a beware. Hey, that one is not in there anywhere. Which is weird because updates should be in there, but it has the color uh, from the top of my head that's black. So it's black on black. Which is weird because they're against black, but they use a black font to do update. Um, it should be in there somewhere. So. Let us click here and con do Control A, and there it is. There it's located. So it's hiding behind or below these images with a black font. So we click Update, and there we are. So here we have. That's not something that needs to be in there. Very annoying. Uh, let me inspect Element with Firebug. This one. All right, that's far better. All right, so um, there are two things we can do. Well, there are multiple things. We can check for a blank, if that works. No, blank does not work. We can check if we go directly to update2.php. No, uh, it does not work. So uh, we can do a brute force attack, or we can do a SQL injection and I think it's time to you learn your first SQL injection. SQL or SQL stands for Structured Query Language and it's used to store lots of data. Most of the time it will store a uh, like database in uh, passwords and usernames and emails and stuff like that but also uh, content uh, is stored there and uh, you can you name it it's stored. Um, basically what you need to envision is a Excel sheet, spreadsheet with columns and rows and uh, one of the things that um, the PHP will do is connect to a database and execute a command in this case select and it will probably execute something like uh, let me get a text file here alright so it will probably execute something like select all from um, well let's say username or uh, users where um, the username equals and that is uh, your like typed in stuff typed in stuff and password uh, equals typed in stuff. So that will be uh, what is going to execute. So it's going to select a star, everything from the database users. Uh, this this is just a uh, a guess. We don't we don't know this one. 
uh, where the username equals to whatever you type in here and the password must be equal to that because if you type in here uh, I don't know uh, let's say uh, admin and then the password for admin is uh, password and that is correct then it will continue on so uh, yeah, we, we can try that of course but I don't think it will work and no it uh, well, it does not work okay so what we need to do is we need to break that so how do we break it well if we uh, by the way this should be that and not double quote sorry and oh no, one quote yeah oh damn it I hit insert ah thought that was weird that one and that one so what we're gonna do is we're going to insert the query that or um, this equals that so we're gonna input that piece because now we're gonna say username empty or the character A must equal character A well that works every time another one can be or uh, one equals one that what this does is it will say this or one equals one and this will comment out the rest and for the password you can do the same but if it's on the same line as uh, username this will already work so we, we can use multiple ones and for the password you're gonna do the same with the first one uh, or you can use this that's also a comment um, so it's whatever you prefer you can try them all or try one uh, let's just try the first one that I said so or a equals a let's uh, see if this works okay that one does not work so it's probably not structured like uh, the first one that I said maybe structured a little bit differently so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it with a uh, comment so we're gonna do that so right now this one should work yeah that one works so uh, that's it for two uh, and that is your first SQL injection uh, this is a well um, let me, how can I put this this is one of the most common errors or vulnerabilities in sites it's a SQL injection um, the reason why is th there are so many things that can go wrong with uh, getting content from a SQL database that you need to set up uh, even if you set up filters you can bypass filters uh, you need to do basically hard code everything in there and you need to not only protect your SQL database but you need to protect your PHP file as well so uh, that is SQL uh, injection I hope you understood it kind of uh, because it's it's not difficult but you need to know what is going on in the, the back end to understand uh, what is well what you're trying to achieve basically um, that is it for the realistic mission 2 and we're well probably going we're going to do them all so uh, don't don't you worry about that um, that's it for me for now